Labrador Retriever. All about labs. Labrador Retriever history. Labrador Retriever, also called Labrador and Lab, is a breed of sporting dog that originated in Newfoundland and was brought to England by fishermen in about 1800. It is an outstanding gun dog, consistently dominating field trials. It has been used in military and police work, as a rescue dog, and as a guide dog for the blind. The Kennel Club England recognized the lab in 1903, and the American Kennel Club registered its first dog of the breed in 1917. Labs topped American Kennel Club registrations for the first time in 1991 and have reigned as America's favorite breed ever since. Labrador Retriever Size Males stand 22.5 to 24.5 inches and weigh 65 to 80 pounds. Females stand 21.5 to 23.5 inches and weigh 55 to 70 pounds. Labrador Retriever Personality In general, Labrador Retrievers are excellent family dogs. As long as you keep in mind their need for exercise and training. These are dogs bred to work and work hard and they love to have jobs to do, particularly retrieving. Labs are usually good with other dogs, other pets and children as long as training has toned down their natural exuberance. Aside from a winning personality, they have the intelligence and eagerness to please that make them easy to train. Training is necessary because this breed has a lot of energy and exuberance. Labrador Retriever Appearance Labs come in three colors, chocolate, black, and yellow. All three types of labs are common today. Some breeders do offer rare labs, including polar white, fox red, and even silver. But these are simply variations of the three original lab coloring combinations. Their coats are sleek and pretty easy to care for. As long as you are willing to put up with shedding, their top coat is short and thick. Their undercoat is softer and helps provide protection from the weather, especially cold temperatures and water. A nod to their original role as retrievers. A lab's tail serves a purpose in their heritage as well. They are thick and tapered, with an otter tail that acts as a rudder when labs swim. But watch out on land, this happy breed gets to wagging their tail often and eagerly, and won't stop if you happen to be in the way. Labrador Retriever Care When you welcome a lab to your home, be prepared for lots of shedding. Grooming is not substantial, but brushing your dog daily will help reduce the tumbleweeds of fur scattered about your house from their thick double coat. They should be bathed every other month to keep them smelling fresh. Brushing their teeth a couple of times a week. Keeping their nails trimmed likely once or twice a month. And checking their ears for redness or odor should also be on your lab care checklist. Labs demand plenty of play and exercise as well. A daily 30-minute walk or a lively game of fetch will help your pup burn off some of his energy. Lack of activity could lead to undesirable behavior. But don't overdo it, this workaholic breed is apt to exhaust itself. Don't let lab puppies run and play on hard surfaces for their first two years so they don't damage their joints. Of course, their reputation for good behavior precedes them. But that doesn't mean you can skip training sessions with your lab. Training is important to ensure they don't grow to become too rowdy. Labrador Retriever Health Labrador Retrievers are generally healthy, but like all breeds, they're prone to certain health conditions. Not all labs will get any or all of these diseases, but it's important to be aware of them if you're considering this breed. Some labs may develop elbow and hip dysplasia, heart disorders and hereditary myopathy. Labrador retrievers can also tend toward knee problems and eye problems, such as progressive retinal atrophy. Ask your vet for more information on the prevention or treatment of potential health issues.